Middletown business owners all have something in common. They either know what it's like to be robbed or they're worried that they are going to be next. In a story you'll see only on 9, Butler Warren reporter Deb Silverman is live with how businesses are taking a stand against the violence. Deb? Tanya, these crime statistics from the Middletown Police Department show that these business owners aren't making this up. Serious crime is up 13% and that's changing the way people do things around here. When Brenda Dillman joined her husband's grocery store business 20 years ago, her biggest worry was keeping the shelves stocked at Dillman's on Central Avenue. Her biggest worry today, the safety of her customers and her workers. In the last few years, it's really gotten serious with all the different kinds of crime, drugs, shoplifting, robberies. A cashier hung this cross above the register after a robbery earlier this year. Two men did come in with two weapons and threatened my girls very seriously. We're kind of like family here. I truly feel like I need to protect them. Fed up with hearing about frequent robberies in the area, Dillman called the Chamber of Commerce, which called the police. The result, 22 people who own businesses around Central Avenue and Crawford Street met with police Tuesday to talk about how to curb the crime. The owner of Discount Glass and Mirror is already following some of the suggestions made by detectives. She keeps no money in her register. The drawer is open, so anyone who walks in knows there's nothing to take. She keeps the door locked when she's alone. The area around here has gone downhill. Um, you can stand here and watch drug deals go down across the street. Sharon Whitlock is not sure what else police can do without more people on patrol. They're talking about cutting more, and right now they don't have enough to take care of what they have. People around here are looking for a dollar, and they don't care where they get it. And they're going to break into any place they can break into, hoping that they can get something out of it. We're not going to lay down and let them take over. We're going to take care of our businesses and all of the people and the neighbors that live in our neighborhood. This is just the first step that the businesses are taking to fight crime in their community. They'll be meeting with police now once a month. Brendan? Deb Silverman live in Middletown tonight. Thanks.